Before I begin, I should say that the people who publish the Dummies books have not taken me terribly seriously with this my proposed book. I don't understand because by my calculations there's about a billion managers out there who will swarm to buy this book when it becomes available. On that note, you may have noticed that I'm taking a somewhat tongue-in-cheek approach to this topic. I'm not, of course, advocating dictatorship. Indeed, the very name and mission of Voice Project um, is anti-dictatorship. What I will be talking about is advocating the importance of voice involvement, participation within organisations. I will, however, also touch upon the times when voice may not be most appropriate and that there may be effective times for a role for dictatorship in your organisations. So let's dive into the presentation itself. Dictatorship comes in a wide range of forms. For the purpose of my presentation, I'm defining dictatorship as a style of leadership that involves much more telling than listening. If you trawl through the history of civilization, we see that about 99% of the governments throughout our civilization have essentially been systems of dictatorship. We see brief flowerings of representative systems of governments in ancient Greece and Rome. Then we wait about a thousand years before the Magna Carta appears, and that's a very slow process in England for the development of, of their parliament. And it's not until the 18th century that we see the Enlightenment come along and philosophy take on board the idea of freedom of expression and equality of opportunity. So why is 